Job chapter 33. Therefore, Job, please listen to my words and hear all that I have to say. Behold, now I have opened my mouth, and my tongue has spoken clearly in my mouth. My words will come from the integrity of my heart, and my lips will speak knowledge plainly. The Spirit of God has made me, and the breath of the Almighty has given me life. If you can, answer me, set your words in order before me and stand up. Behold, I am here in place of God, just as you are. I too was formed out of the clay. Let not my terror frighten you, nor let my hand be heavy upon you. You have indeed spoken in my hearing, and I have heard the sound of your words, saying, I am pure, without transgression, I am innocent, there is no iniquity in me. Yet he finds occasions against me, he counts me as his enemy. He puts my feet in the stocks, he watches all my paths. Behold, in this you are not right. I will answer you, God is greater than man. Why do you contend against him, saying, he will not answer for any of his actions? For God speaks in one way, and in two, though man does not perceive it. In a dream, in a vision of the night, when deep sleep falls on men, while they slumber on their beds. Then he opens the ears of men and terrifies them with warnings. That he may turn man aside from his deed and conceal pride from a man. He keeps back his soul from the pit, his life from perishing by the sword. Man is also rebuked with pain on his bed and with continual strife in his bones, so that his life loathes bread and his appetite the choicest food. His flesh is so wasted away that it cannot be seen, and his bones that were not seen stick out. His soul draws near the pit, and his life to those who bring death. If there be for him an angel, a mediator, one of the thousand, to declare to man what is right for him, and he is merciful to him, and says, Deliver him from going down into the pit, I have found a ransom. Let his flesh become fresh with youth. Let him return to the days of his youthful vigor. Then man prays to God, and he accepts him. He sees his face with a shout of joy, and he restores to man his righteousness. He sings before men and says, I sinned and perverted what was right, and it was not repaid to me. He has redeemed my soul from going down into the pit, and my life shall look upon the light. Behold, all these things God does, twice, three times, with a man. To bring back his soul from the pit, that he may be lighted with the light of life. Pay attention, O Job, listen to me, be silent, and I will speak. If you have any words, answer me, speak, for I desire to justify you. If not, listen to me, be silent, and I will teach you wisdom.